Today I'm going to be talking about the Philutinen series by Siri Kollu. So Siri Kollu is a Finnish author and the entire intrigue of these books takes place in Finland. I love Finland. This is really awesome. So book one. It's called the Les Filutinen in French. It's got various names depending on what uh, language it's been translated in. It's available in about 18 languages, I think, um, but not in English. So I don't, I don't know what the English title is going to be. The author told me that the English rights were still pending, apparently. So we will see. Lisa is a young teenager about to go on a summer holiday with her family. The long, boring summer holidays you spend with your family doing a load of boring things you don't want to do. However, during the journey, the family car is attacked by a band of highway pirates who proceed to kidnap Lisa. Why did they kidnap her? because their kids were bored. That's what you do apparently when you're a highway pirate and you need to entertain your children. You kidnap someone else's child to give them a friend. Yeah. And so Lisa finds herself in the custody of this rather odd family, the Filutinans, who scour the highways of Finland searching for treasure. That treasure being anything they need, from packets of sweets to jumpers to Barbie dolls. Everything except money, basically. During her stay with the bandits, Lisa learns their way of life and befriends their children. Helen, who is an expert at knife throwing and passionate about giving the Barbie dolls a makeover, and Eric, who wants to distance himself from the robber lifestyle and become a normal kid and go to school. The Filutinans take her in as one of their own and even take her to the annual meet where all the pirates of Finland gather to compete in various disciplines. Part two, part two, part two. <laughs> A year has passed since Lisa was taken by the infamous Filutinan family and her life has gone back to its boring normal self. For the summer holidays, Lisa has been sent to a music camp, the aim of which being to perfect her violin skills and eat boiled carrots until... Well, that's it. Lisa sends a desperate message to the Filutinans, begging for a rescue, which turns out to be as dramatic as it should be. And once she rejoins the family, they have some rather exciting news. The title of Robber-in-Chief is up for grabs, and the summer meet will determine who shall have it. However, the other competitors don't play fair. Alliances are made and broken, and Lisa herself takes part in some events. And the stakes get even higher when it is rumoured that the legendary Kvis guide, a guide for the, to the way of life of highway pirates, may have been found. Part 3. Carlo Filutinen is now established as bandit-in-chief and is getting used to his new role as advisor to highway pirates. Excitement mounts again when Lisa, reveling in her newfound talents as bluff champion, discovers a letter written by Quist himself. This letter may lead to the whereabouts of the famous guide and the Filutinans start scouring the country, searching in antique shops in hope of stumbling upon it. Lisa guiding them in their search with mysterious dreams 
which seem to indicate where the guides may be hidden. So we're very much in the realms of the Bliss Bakery-like literature here with a story that's just funny and sweet, sort of feel-good story. You have Lisa, who's a sort of very sort of down-to-earth kind of person. However, she gets completely absorbed into the way of life of these highway pirates. And you have the Filutinan family who are all a bit mental, but in a good way, and they all work together really well and support each other. I I don't like stereotyping, but I, I don't know if it's like a, a Nordic thing. Scandinavians seem to be particularly good at writing stories like this um, that are, they're really nice stories, but they're also a bit they're also a bit naughty because th these are pirates, these are pirate families, they are outlaws and uh, but they, you know, they're, they're also really nice. So there's this kind of du like double sided coin whereby you've got some people who do illegal things, they're outlaws, they're criminals, but they're also really, really nice and likeable characters. So yes, more antidepressant literature for you that was the Filutinan Family by Siri Kollu. Let's clean our tail, shall we? Yes, 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 we're having a shower. <laughs> Cat shower. Oh, yes. 